Hi, my name is Andy for SBS, and today we're going to be looking at our model R4 3000B. What all those numbers mean, it's R4, it's a four-wheeler, 3000, it's 3000 kilos gross capacity, which gives you approximately 2,300 kilos of boat load capacity, and B, it's a bunk. So as you may be aware, there are two main types of support mechanism for boats. You've got bunk and roller, and today we're going to simply look at the bunk option. So with this trailer, you're into big boating. As I said, it takes up to 2.3 tonnes of boat load capacity. And with regards to length, it's up to 6.2 metres when measured from the bow eye to the transom. So that's not the overall length, of course, that's the supported length of the trailer. If you click on our website, you'll see how we measure and how we illustrate that. And that's one of the things you'll need to know when specking a trailer with us. Um, this one is uh, for a customer, so it's, it's to their particular specification. Um, one of the things they've got is the tall A-frame winch post. You've got a Genoa Beneteau uh, boat going on this, and it's got, they've always got a, quite a high winch eye position close to the stem, hence the large A-frame winch post. It's fitted with a twin speed winch um, for ease of recovery. Also with a trailer like this, you've, now you go up to the heavy duty serrated jockey wheel. You might be able to see the serrations here. They mesh with the clamp. That gives a very positive closure um, because inevitably with the larger boats, you, you've got more nose weight. And that just gives you a lot of security. And also nice, easy action. Now, these, as um, a lot of people know with trailers, Jockey wheels can have a habit of, of unwinding when you're towing them. We fit for the cart jockey wheel, which is distinguished with its orange livery. Um, there's a little bearing in there. Just hear it clicking. That is just an anti-unwind mechanism, which works extremely well. All our cast Alco coupling heads come with an integrated lock. It's a great first level security lock for short stays, uh, service stations, that sort of thing. Um, it's integrated into the coupling head, so you can't forget it or lose it. Uh, and I'll just simply demonstrate how it works. So this is, for example, it represents the ball on, on the car as you couple onto it. A couple of things you'll notice there. The handle is down on the coupling to show that the ball is engaged. Also, the little indicator has popped up. It's gone from red you can probably see green around there. And the lock is simply a key operated push fit lock. So the key's in, you just give it half a turn, pull it out, and now it's locked. That's a great simple thing uh, for when you're traveling, you've got a bit of security there. So we mentioned the security aspects of uh, the coupling and the integrated lock in the coupling head. However, equally important, or probably more so, is looking at the, the handbrake, applying the, the brakes with this. You can see it's a big trailer, it's got the big 10-inch uh, hubs in old money, and there's four of them. So you've got an extended arm on this uh, handbrake lever, and with relatively little effort, that now applies the right pressure on the cables to ensure those brakes are on. And it's similarly, because of the, the longer handle, um, you've got that leverage to take it off. So, as with all SBS trailers, unique in the boat trailer market, they carry a limited lifetime structural warranty. As you can see from this one, it's a 3000 trailer, so you're getting up on the way. It's a heavy duty, fully welded ladder frame style construction. So it's awesome strength. Um, we, to complement that, you've got these cast weld on lugs to secure your boat, uh, rather than little piddly brackets on the side. Uh, awesome bit of kit there full length keel rollers. So the keel of the boat is um, commonly accepted to be the strongest part of the boat. So that's where it's supported. As you can see, you've got ample support throughout there. And then that's supplemented by two pairs of fully adjustable side bunk supports. And these are just up and down and in and out. So this particular trailer, because it's customer specified, has got a hub flush kit fitted. Uh, again, on our website, we, we do a uh, little video based on that, but you can see it here. That's that red push fit piping. And there's a single standard hose connector, and that will flush all four simultaneously. 
it's just a great piece of kit to extend the service life of your brakes and all the braking components. It doesn't do anything with the bearings. Remember on our Alco axles, the bearings are sealed. As I've said, this is customer spec and the trailer's going out shortly, but hopefully you can take a step back literally and feast your eyes on these gorgeous rims. So this gentleman has specified uh, alloy wheels with this trailer and I think it, it gives it a real lift. We've been fitting these for a while, they are fantastic. Um, just a little cautionary note, if you think you're going to go and rob a set off your Escort in the garage or something like that, these are specifically load rated. So just be mindful about that. All the trailers come with side steps. Uh, there's a great little addition, just obviously to help you get up to the boat, pass things up to anyone who might be in the boat while it's on the trailer, or simply help pass a ratchet strap over um, the rear deck. Um, this one, as I said, customer spec, is fitted with floating poles. Now we pioneered these for years and they're fantastic. They're a great little retro fit item. Um, as you can see, just two U-bolts hold them on. You can then position them for width, but float and poles, the clue is in the name. So they stand a meter high from wherever you attach them to the trailer. And as you reverse in, they float up. Fantastic. So they're there as guide poles, okay? So they're extremely robust, um, but as they float up, they're there just to show you where the trailer is inevitably under the water as you come on. So you, you come on and from the helm position, you're probably unsighted with, with where the trailer is, but you can take a bead on the snubber post and if you get the boat between these, you'll know the keel's gonna be uh, on the center rollers and the boat's gonna be on the bunks. Our light board, fantastic. It's an LED and bulb combo. Why do we do that? The LED, because they're great, they're nice, they're super bright, so you've got that forward facing and rear bulb because unfortunately not all cars are compatible with a full LED light board. You can duck great, that's no problem at all, but just so we know every single light board will work with every single car, this is a bulb LED combo. And again, it's got our, uh, on our extending brackets, so that will sit to the rear of the outboard engine, stern drive, whatever it might be, to comply with legality. And I think, ladies and gentlemen, that is our R4 3000B. Thank you very much.